Hidden within the forest of the churchyard of Tercaldus, near Avermore, there lies a grave, but not an ordinary grave. This is the grave of clan chief Seath Moore, the Great Shore. Built upon the grave there is a steel cage, not to protect the grave, oh no, that cage is to protect you, protect you from touching the cursed stones that sit upon it. It is said that if you touch one of the five homing stones, you are sure to fall ill or even die. Many have in the past. There is also the guardian of the shores, or known as the Borach Anduin, an elf-like spirit with a raging temper that used to guard the estate when it was owned by the shores. But when the estate fell to the Grants, the spirit retreated to the churchyard and remains there today, protecting the shores that are buried there. This is our whistle stop tour, a daytime ghost hunt. Can we find any evidence of the Burak Andun, or maybe even meet Sithmoor himself? Hello, and welcome back to Math T UK and anyone that knows anything about Scottish legends, Scottish ghosts or anything like that will recognise this grave straight away. This is the grave of Seath or Seth Moore. He has got another name but it's hard to pronounce and I'm not going to try <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> what is the story of Seath Moore? Well there was a clan battle in 1396 where two clans went head to head. 30 members of each clan met in a battlefield and slaughtered out. There was only one survivor, and that survivor was Seath. And he became a well-known warrior within the area and became famous due to his abilities as a warrior and a fighter. But it doesn't stop there. There's a reason that this grave is covered in a cast iron grid and most or many people would initially think that that was to stop grave robbers, but it's not. I'll show you in a bit, but underneath this cast iron grid are five cursed stones. So why are we here? Well, because we've been staying in Aviemore and we're doing some mountain walking, and we also do a little bit of paranormal and paranormal investigation. You can't miss the opportunity, can you? No, it was a we can't miss, and I've never seen anyone do it. Everybody talks about the grave, everybody mentions about the cursed stones. There are stories, I'll put stories up about the cursed stones, you can read them after. But um, whether you believe in the stuff or not, it is, is not up for me to say. We are both skeptics, but we still come and we have a bit of a mess around to see if we can do anything. Now, one of the things that really has already made a difference, we started here with our EMF reader and we was picking up? Zero, absolute zero. And what would we just get? I think we're all up to six now. Six. Six milligools or gals. I like to call them ghouls. Why not? Ghouls or jewels. No, the ghouls, gals, milligals. So we've actually picked it gone from zero. We walked around, did a baseline, zero, zero, zero. Just turn the cameras on, bang, whack to six. Now, if you turn the cameras off, it doesn't go back to zero. It stays at six. So that's a bit weird. There's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here to cause that. But there you go. That's what it is. So we'll make a start. We have with us a REM pod. So the, the, the latest REM pod. And we have the, uh, what's that thing over there? It's the PSB, PSB 11 ANC, noise anti-noise cancelling. We have the Eric's Hill uh, EMF reader. We have a microphone over there for um, EVPs. And of course we've got our camera as well, so we're going to have a sit down in a second. See if we can, we're going to ask a few questions, see if we get any feedback, keep the camera on us and take it from there. There's not much else we can do. So uh, we've only got a few minutes, we're not here long. If you want to know a bit more about Safe Moore, I'm going to put that on your screens now. That's 
picked a bit up, by the way. That's actually... The, we just had a voice off there. I'm hoping the, the uh, voice recorder would have picked that up, but we need to go over there and sit down, and we need to start an investigation. Because that radio... Dave, just for, the, just for people who are watching, for the last two nights... You've had it on in and, the lodge. And what have we heard? Nothing really. Nothing at all. Just the, just odd, the odd burst yeah. of, of a radio station, but we've heard nothing. So I'm just creating a baseline with Dave. Like I said, we're both skeptics. We don't believe in it, but it's, it's just what we like to do. We like to see if we can find anything. And we keep hearing voices on that thing. The EMF read has gone off already. <laughs> we've only just, we haven't even started yet. Yeah. So let's sit down. Let's get cracking. There is a there is a feeling, isn't there? I wouldn't want to come here at night. Oh no, no. Especially with the uh, the church that's yeah. in the ruins behind. We can't make it here at night because we're resting before the walk the next day. This is our rest day. So if we another voice. So we're, uh, we're we're this is our rest day. We we walked about five k here. Yeah. Probably get about five k back, and then um, tomorrow we're doing Ben Nevis. Anyway, let's get on with it. So we've now moved the REM pod to the foot of the grave, closer to one of the um, cursed stones. So whilst we hold this box, should we start? Yeah. Okay. Here we are at the grave of Seth Moore. Can anybody hear us? Is there anyone that would like to communicate with us? Or maybe play a flute. <laughs> I've not seen anybody do this here before. Are we the first people to do this? And hopefully not the last. No, of course it's not dark. But it doesn't matter, make no difference if it's dark, does it? Because you're either here or you're not. I'm glad it's the day. It's not like they go, they go to bed, is it? No. It's only your psychological brain that plays tricks with you because it's dark. Come on. Well, there's not just Seth, is there? There's, there's a lot of people. Yeah. Does anyone want to talk? Now, if you have a look around where we stood, at the foot, at the foot of Sage's grave, there's a red box. Go and touch it. Don't put it on there. No, no, I'm not touching it. That's a new battery in there. Is it? Was it gone? No. <laughs> that battery is flat that's a flat battery I only put a new one in last night that's a bit spooky in itself maybe they don't want to communicate it's gone hasn't it <laughs> well there you go how about that I, I didn't bring any spare batteries with me because we was only going to be here 15 minutes. It's been on five, I put a brand minutes. new battery in last night, ready for this morning. Maybe 10 minutes it's been on. And that has gone. There was no power left in that at all. So, all we can do now is use the EVP. So, one EVP, or is that a wee haggis running across the bottom? Of the camera there is that. Look my wee haggis. The spotting of the wee haggis, so it is. So we've gone down to 4.2 milligals now, and we have our EVP recorder. So let's go for it. Um, if you can speak to us, you obviously can't speak through our box because the battery went, but you can use this device I've got in hand now to communicate with us. Where's the REM pod? I moved it to the front this time. Oh, right, right. Just where it's not being disturbed. So the REM pod is behind the um, gravestone. So I'll move it. I keep trying different areas. Yeah. 
Is there anybody who would like to speak to us? Anyone at all? I have to tell you though, but if you do speak to us, you have to stay here. You cannot come with us. You have to stay here. You're not permitted to follow us anywhere. As soon as we leave here, you stay here. That's important that we tell you that. If there's anything you would like to say, you can say it. It's actually quite a peaceful place here, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, it does feel... Uh... I think the only thing I get is a little bit apprehensive about because of the curse. Yeah. But that's about it. Even though I don't believe in it, I'm still not going to touch... I'm not touching that bloody grave. No. Absolutely not. We don't need any bad luck for the next no. few days anyway. No, we don't. Temp fate. But it looks... Uh, I don't know. Just looks bad, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like they want to keep something in. I've certainly never seen a gravestone like that. No. There's also supposed to be some sort of goblin here. Um, There's also supposed to be some sort of goblin protecting the stones as well, that looks after the stones. I think the goblin's the one that does the harm to people. I'm not sure. Or whatever it is. I remember them saying something about it. Don't know if you tried to communicate with us yet. We haven't heard anything. If you are speaking to us and, you, and we can't hear you, why don't you go and touch that box over there and let us know that you're here. Why don't you go and touch the box? We'll know if you're here then, because the box will activate and we'll know that somebody's here. And then we can do a playback on the EVP and hear you. Go and touch the box for us. Go on. Please. Seth, you're a big lad. Go and touch the box, big man. I'm glad he's not. <laughs> if you meet Seth amongst all the woods, he's supposed to he's supposed to challenge you to a duel. And you have to accept it. And if you don't accept the challenge, you'll never be seen again. Apparently. Talking of which, where's Andy gone? Yeah. We do have another chap with us, Andy, but he's absolutely not into this stuff at all. Even when you mention a little goblin. Yeah. Doesn't like doesn't like goblin. So come on, does anyone here that'd like to speak to us? Let let us know that you're here. Go and touch the box over there. We'll know that you're here then. We're down to 3.6 milligals. It definitely peaks, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is very, very bizarre because it shouldn't it was zero when we got here. Three point nine. Oh, four point two. It, it, there's absolutely four point two. There's absolutely no reason for that to to go off. None. There's nothing here. There's no power. There's nothing here. So come on, speak to us. Well, we don't have long here. So you don't have a lot of time to speak to us. Are you looking at us from a distance? Are you still on the outskirts? I can't see anybody or anything. It's a real shame we couldn't come here this evening for a better ambience, but I think that would be quite scary and full mm -hmm. of midges. Five point four should be zero. 
that camera doesn't do it. Well, it's gone up to six then. Why is it doing that? Let me take it over there and see if, yeah. it, if it... Go back over to the church. See if it disappears as, it, as you go anywhere else. I would like to say there was some sort of atmosphere, you know, but I, I don't even get that. What reading have you got over there? 6.5? Don't, you don't get an ambiance here during the day. It's just a graveyard. You don't get any, you don't feel anything. You know, some, sometimes when you see these ghost people, they walk into a place and go, ooh, I can feel it. It's just a graveyard. But I've never seen anyone do this. I've never seen anyone do a ghost hunt. How, what did you get in there? 7.1? Let's go over there then. Let's try it over there, eh? Right, we're getting 7.1 milligal readings over there, which is absolutely ironic. So what we're going to do, I'm going to stop filming here. We're going over there. Just here in this little tomb area, we're getting a reading of 7.1 milligals. It went up 7.4 just here. It's not as high now. 7.1. But it was 7.4 before it peaked. So here we are in this little tomb area. William Cameron Esquire. Captain so. James Cameron. Resident for 30 years at the Croft. So this is their grave. Now the same thing. If there's anyone here that would like to speak to us. Just let, let us know you're here. Why don't you go over and touch the little red box over there? Let us know that you're here. Is there anything you would like to say to us? And as I said before, if you do speak to us, you can't come with us. You have to stay here. So when we leave, you stay here. There is a strong Millie Gale read in here. A real strong Millie Gale read and it shouldn't be. It's down to six now. Yeah. But why? Why is it down to six? Why is it even up to six? It should be zero. When we did the Roman Fort, it was zero. Yeah. Despite getting strong readings, we weren't getting anything else. Nothing on the REM pod and nothing on the audio either. So what we decided to do was sacrifice the REM pod and go back to the PSB 11 ANC and see if we could get that back up and running again because I suddenly realized that they're both nine volt batteries, both in the REM pod and in the uh, PSB. So we swapped them over and we came back to this area to see if we could get any more readings. Right, okay. Last chance saloon, we've now got our uh, spirit box working, if you want to speak, thank you, if you want to speak to us, try and speak to us through this box now, try and tune into it and say hello, tell us to get out if you want and we'll leave, would you like us to leave? Because we will go if you want. Just let us know. All you got to do is tell us what you want us to do. I could hear a little, I could hear a voice in, but it was very quiet. Come on. If you're trying, try and speak to us. 2.4 we're going down to now. Yeah, it's dropping. Whatever that spike was, is completely gone. A couple of minutes left. you got a couple of minutes to speak to us. Some of them want it. Come on, keep trying. Speak to us.
Does he just say who's that? Yeah. Was that who's that? Matt. That was the same voice. Speak to us again. We can hear you. We can hear you. Try it again. Speak to us. Come on. You're nearly getting... Math. I haven't told you my name. You're on YouTube. This is Dave. Can you say Dave's name? Can you say Dave? You probably spoke in Gaelic or whatever. No. Well, maybe. Can you say Dave? David? David. Or Matt? Or maybe even we Jock McPlop. 1.8 now, it's dropped. 1.8. Down to 1.8 milligrams. It does... Say it again, I missed it. Say that again. See, I think you know we're here, which is why we, we had no presence whatsoever, no milligals reading whatsoever. And then we turned up and it absolutely went mental. It went to six, then it went to seven. Then it was going, dropping again, down to 1.8, because you're getting used to us being here, aren't you? You know we're here now. We're going to have to go now, so we're going to have to say goodbye, 1.5, 1 1.2, yeah. come on we'll have a walk over, we'll have a walk over back to the drone and then we'll turn everything off. So you've literally, you've literally got seconds to speak to us, if you want to say something Say it now. That was that voice again. That deep voice. But I can't make out what it's saying. Not point nine now. Explain that to me. Why should that go to seven milligals or gals bend down to nothing over a period of 15, 20 minutes? It doesn't make any sense. Right, this is it. Your last chance. This is your last chance. Speak to us now. Remember what I said, you've got to stay here. Do not follow us out, you're not allowed. That's it, you're going. Done. Right, well, what, 15, 20 minutes we've been here, maybe half an hour. Hmm. Got some voices, can't quite make them out. Drain the battery. That was a bit strange. Massive spike on the uh, EMF. Well, it went up very quick as yeah. well. Went from zero. Well, it hovered, it hovered, didn't it, around there? And it went up four, to, about four to start and with. And when I started walking that way, seven. It, it went up to 7.4. Yeah. So there you go. I've never seen anyone do a ghost hunt. I know it's daytime, but we don't have we, the, 
the ability to do it at night, unfortunately. Plus we're too scared. Oh, it's too frightening as well. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. It is something different, something interesting. I thought it was. Yeah, it's a nice, well, it's an interesting Graves place, isn't it? Grave, yeah. Grave yeah. thing. But I still don't get any feelings or any none of that st stuff and nonsense people talk about. None of that. Didn't feel any of that. No. But, but there you go. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I enjoyed doing it. I've always, ever since I learned about the grave, ever since I knew that we was coming to this area, I wanted to come and do this, and we've done it now. So another tick in the box. Yeah. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So we're going. It's back to zero. Look at that. <laughs> That's not right.